well, many data engineers have a bachelor's degree in computer science or uh, related uh, related field for that. So by earning a degree, you can actually build a foundation of knowledge you need in the, this quick evolving uh, field. So definitely, uh, you will need to develop your data engineering skills. When I say data engineering skills, those are the fundamentals of um, cloud computing, um, coding skills, and uh, perhaps the database design, which is also a starting point to another career in data science. So when I say coding, uh, it is very um, um, critical skill for data engineering. Uh, you should be proficient in coding languages. Uh, consider taking course or, or to learn and practice your skills, those com um, common programming languages like, uh, of course, the SQL, no SQL, uh, Python. Then you have to also understand um, about the relational and non-relational databases, um, the process of data engineering, which is the uh, extract, transform, and load. So those kind of things, I guess, um, some of the uh, data engineers came from a software engineer. Um, it may be an entry level um, already going uh, direct to a data engineer, or you can come from a software engineer because uh, from there, you already have a good foundation in terms of the, uh, your coding skills. Then at least when you go to a, a data engineering uh, role, uh, it is more on how you will um, um, develop your coding skills such that uh, you will be working to a lot of uh, databases or tables and doing some um, modeling stuff. So I, I guess uh, there are a lot of, of channels where you can, uh, you can go through um going to a data engineering group so there's a lot of, of opportunity in summary so um probably my approach will be a little more ahead because one of the thing i have learned um the only thing you will regret most in your life all the time the thing you have not done on the right time and to do something right time is always now so so this is something I followed in my life when I was an university student. So I will share my own personal story and a little bit customized version, which could be a suitable for an undergrad student. Uh, if you're an undergrad student right now, get a piece of paper, write it down, what kind of job you want to do, what kind of career you want to do, and what kind of companies you want to work with. And write it down a piece of paper and put it on your wall display. Rather than putting a beautiful scenery or any kind of model photo, this photo will be a lot more valuable for you, which you wake up, turn on the computer, the first thing you see that one too. And when you do that, the next one will be, as you wanna do a data engineer, right? So what kind of job you wanted to do, right? So you know that that's kind of job offered maybe 20 or 50 or 30 companies in your country. So your goal will be to first to get an internship with this country, with those companies. So, so now to get an internship program, you probably even second year, third year, or you maybe know nothing because your school teaching nothing about data science, which is okay. You can make an excuse and come to the interview and say, my school doesn't offer, so I don't know. Can you please give an uh, interview? Uh, can you give an opportunity? And they may tell you no, because you, by saying that one, you will be proving yourself you're a lazy person because you do not put the work. Take an online program or immediately. It will probably a few weeks on, it's free. It's like, world is amazing. Like when I was a student, everything was in the book suffered a lot. You don't have to suffer like me. You have everything available with you. And I didn't have a chance to be, you know, and see any kind of webinar where people sharing with me too, because there was no much internet even at that time. Um, so get a first few, few courses in online free. I will tell you, don't pay for it because you don't know actually you're really going to like it or not. So paying uh, you get, get collecting money. You are thinking about, I'm going to do it or not getting it free and you have less commitment easy to get started. Take few of them and then you start sending and make your better resume and start sending it to them during an internship to those companies they, and let them keep rejecting you. Keep sending in your CV every three months and probably you can have a backup list of the company where you could even get started as well too. And one of the best thing you could always coming into it when you come to an internship, do some research about that company and, and come up with an idea what they can do better with the data or what things they're doing wrong in the data. Just come and just say the interview. If you do it nicely, and if you do a few practice, how to answer some question in the interview, they're gonna love you. And that will set you tone for a, a crushing journey with the data engineers. You're gonna learn and they're gonna, they're gonna hire you before you get, get for, graduated from the school and you will be probably the fastest going path in the company 
to build your career in the data engineering. And um, you may say that, is it proven? Yeah, I'm the example. That's exactly what I did when I was a student. I want to build my career in, in quality engineering. I set up at 20, 30 companies and I was, and all the companies set up overseas country and I start sending them the CV because I wanted to be a quality architect when I graduate in the next few years of time. So I start pursuing automation engineering, coding, because everybody was developer. I knew that that road is going to be very traffic, full of traffic jam. So I need a little more faster move. So that's my advice.